think about the last two years of your life, okay? The last two years of your life. I'm not sure what the last two years of your life looked like. I'm not sure uh, whether you were running, you know, a company, whether you were an investor, whether you didn't know about crypto, whether you didn't know about the markets, whether you were an employee and worked a job. It does not matter, right? It does not matter. What I want you to do is evaluate the last two years of your life and now evaluate where you are today. And ask yourself, please be honest, because nobody's coming to you and asking you these questions, right? Nobody, nobody's doing this, right? So I'm gonna ask them for you. And I need you to answer them with sincerity and purity of heart, because once you stop lying to yourself about your condition, well then, and only then can you get better. So let's begin. Evaluate the last two years of your life and ask yourself, are my finances better? Is my knowledge base better? Is my network better and more refined? Or am I in a situation whereby things have not changed. Listen to me. If things have not changed, it is completely your fault. And I'm not talking, ladies and gentlemen, about a micro change. I'm not talking about, oh, I got two new friends that make money. Oh, I got a couple more dollars. No, no, no. The last two years, ladies and gentlemen, okay, tens of trillions of dollars were printed out of Thin air, thin air. How much of it did you get? How much of the $10 trillion did you take home? If the answer is zero or under 10 million at least, oh look, 10 million, 10 million. That's because you're a fucking peasant. The kings, they make the money, and the peasants work and don't make the money. You can't have an emotional attachment and pride based on your current condition. The first step to solving all the problems in your life is realizing that those problems exist. And a lot of you motherfuckers have some serious problems, but nobody some, for some reason, nobody has the wherewithal to tell you these things. Why? Because they're financially attached or financially incentivized to keep you happy, to keep you in the loop, but not me, because I don't give a fuck. And that's why you're here, because you trust. So let's begin. As soon as the session gets done, by the way, guys, do not break your fast in the mornings. We're just doing some uh, mate and green tea. Make sure your insulin does not spike in the morning so you can maintain a state of fasting and your body can go into a state of autophagy where your body begins to eat up all the toxins in your body. But that's, we'll leave that biohacking shit for Nate to, to come and address in a, in a later live. Back to my point about your growth. Has there been a massive exponential growth in your life, yes or no? It's either yes or no. There's no, there's no, there's no excuses when you look at yourself in the mirror, guys. There's, there's no excuses. There's no excuses. Somebody said I have a hickey on the neck. No, this is just the birthmark. I'll be teaching you guys how to master sexual transmutation on a different live stream. Or maybe we'll leave that for, for Capital Club in the nearby future. But as you begin to answer these questions, I want you to ask yourself one thing. If you're a multimillionaire, we're going to start with the multimillionaires and we're going to bring it down to the people that are still working jobs or people that are still in high school or people that are still in university. Start with the multimillionaires. How many people can you ring up today that you've met and that you've developed relationships over the last 12 months and be like, hey, I need $100,000 to, 
spot me for two weeks, I got you. How many? How many? Answer that question, because it's important for you to answer that question. If the answer is zero, you fucked up. Big time. Because there's somebody on the other side of the spectrum that makes one phone call and he has $100 billion in liquidity. So the question is, why are you not that person and why are you the person that can't get a single fucking dollar of funding? It's because of who you are. It's because of who you are. So the question is, if you want a different life, you have to become a different person. So how do you become a different person? By identifying the bullshit in your life. The hard truths, the questions that people don't want to answer. A lot of you motherfuckers are full of shit. Full of it. Full of it. And something was weighing on me this morning as I thought, you know, about the condition of many of you guys. And most of you, the reason you're poor is because you're poor here. If it seems impossible, it's because you do not have the information that makes it possible. Do you understand? If you can't see it, it's because you do not have the preparation or the eyes to see it. It's something you must marinate on because over the next 18 months, whether a new virus comes, data set, whether a new lockdown comes, data set, whether new restrictions and central bank digital currencies come and suppress your freedom, data set, whether free speech becomes suppressed and we enter a dark age of censorship, data set, how are you positioned? How? Guys, the, the way I'm talking to you, guys, I have nothing to, guys, listen, I have nothing to gain from you. Do you understand? You have a lot at stake over the next 18 months. Do you have a plan? Or are you just winging it day by day? Like, what, what, the, what the fuck do you think this is, bro? <laughs> what the fuck do you think this is? You think that the geniuses in the world are, are playing today and they're, well, let me go check my Facebook ads today. Let me go see how my drop shipping store is doing today. All you motherfuckers wanna be billionaires, but you're doing the same shit you were doing two years ago. You're the same person. Nothing's changed. In fact, some of you are worse. Somebody said, is he implanting fear so that we can buy his high ticket mastermind? First of all, you can't afford it. Two, it's sold out in eight hours. And three, I have a 200 person wait list of top fucking killers. So the reason I'm coming and talking to you is because I don't want you to be in a situation because nobody's telling you this. You go on YouTube and they tell you, well, here's the top five tokens to look at. Here's the five top tips for you to be better at e-commerce, but nobody's telling you how to think. Nobody's telling you how to think. Nobody's telling you to have a reality check on your life. Nobody. Cousin Luke's got you, bro. Brother Luke's got you. So let's have a conversation, an honest conversation. Guys, in the next 18 months, just like it happened in 2020, because the world operates in cycles and, and money flows and liquidity moves in different places at different times, if you are not positioned to succeed, you will have missed another opportunity. How many opportunities are you gonna miss? Like, are you not fucking sick and tired of being sick and tired? 
Like, does it not fucking bother you to your core that you are just a piece of shit? And not a piece of shit compared to me. A piece of shit compared to your fullest potential. Guys, I have to have these self-talks with me every single day as well. It's not just, oh, Luke Belmar made it. Luke is crushing it. No, 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 no. There's levels to these levels. And the moment you think that you mastered a level, you begin to look up and you're like, I haven't even started. Hence why I'm exiting retirement, right? I'm sitting on a lot of money and then I realize, what the fuck am I doing? What am I retiring from? Life? Experiences? Growth? Self-development? No, 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 I'm getting back in the trenches, motherfuckers. The next 18 months are about to be saucy. They're about to be crazy. They're about to be radically life-changing for the people that position themselves to be radically changed. I'm not speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself. I'm speaking the truth. So a lot of you guys are out here puffing weed, hanging out with fucking clowns, suppressing your potential. And it's a shame. A wise man once said that the richest place is the grave. That's where you will find all the maybes and the could have beens and the ideas and ambitions and businesses and world changing technology and self development and attributes that you could have brought into the world, but they died with you. What a shame. What a shame. There's 3,500 people in here. The question is, are you gonna be like the seven billion? Or are you gonna be different? If you're gonna be like the seven billion, you will get the results of the seven billion. Guys, a million dollars a year is not enough. All these fuckers that are telling you that it is, listen. They don't understand what's coming. I do not give a fuck about the comment section on TikTok. I do not give a fuck about your opinion on me. I do not give a fuck about what you think I am or what I'm not. I know what's happening. And when they print $10 trillion out of thin air, you realize money ain't shit. So what's valuable? This, this, the relationships and connections that you have, and the value that you provide. That's it. You're not even positioned to win. Like how many, how, hey, all the, all the people want to do business, who has an LLC? Oh, who has a business bank account? Well, I don't have a business, but are you positioned? Well, a million dollars is a lot of money. I could do it. Yeah, because we believe that a million dollars is a lot of money. Go study the history of the Euro. The Euro's only been around for 20 years. That shit's about to fail. The Euro is a representation of a basket of other currencies. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Today, the dollar's worth something. Somebody will sell you their house and, and their life force and work for you on behalf of it. But ladies and gentlemen, go look at the price of a house in 1950. Go look at the price of a house in 1940. Go look at the price of a house pre-1913 Federal Reserve Act. History repeats itself. And if it doesn't repeat, it surely rhymes. So if some motherfucking clown that's 75 years old has the ability to click a button and fuck your life over, how are you going to position yourself so that that dude cannot do it? You think the government gives a fuck about you, bro? Like, honestly, why do you think all these people are, are there? To serve you? What fairy tale do you live? What have you bought into? What clownery are you into? And this doesn't just apply to America, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, this is a, this is a universe, this is, this, is, this is across the entire spectrum. 
I posted a tweet today and I said, most people think that they're depressed when in reality they are spiritually repressed. All the potential that you have, all the dreams and ambitions that you have, what do you, what do you think, that they're just fairy tales? Do you think it's just, it's just an illusion? No, it's your, it's your future self because you don't understand the spectrum of time. That's a deeper data set we'll go into later. That maybe what you're craving is who you actually are meant to be, but you're so calcified that you cannot understand that that which you want to be, you can be. But you must instill discipline, you must build a network, and you must become a valuable individual in order to stand out. What's the difference between you and the, per and the guy next to you? Go knock on your neighbor's door. What's, what's the difference between you and them, honestly? All you motherfuckers act, act like you're special, but what's the difference? Like truthfully, truthfully. So all these, all these millionaires, <laughs> all these millionaires out here being like, ah, flexing a whip. I am a, I'm a millionaire in my twenties. All right, go to Miami, buy a house. You'll be dead broke. You can't even afford it. That's why you got to go to the bank and get a mortgage. Oh my goodness, bro. Let me tell you about the mortgage. <laughs> what a scam, bro. Guys, let's have a reality check, shall we? Let me tell you about the mortgage. You walk into the bank. You walk into the bank because you can't afford the house. You can't afford it. So you're like, hey, I got $200,000. Let me go uh, uh, get a house that's a million bucks. Let me put 20% down. So you think you're putting 20% down for the house when in reality what you're doing is you're fronting the money for the fractionalization that the bank's gonna do with your money and they're gonna print 9x, 10x off of what you gave them. So what does the bank do? Say, hey, I want 20%. You give them 200,000, they give you the mortgage for a million. In fact, they don't even give you the money because they own it until you pay them back. But you give them 200,000, they fractionalize it through fractional reserve banking. And then money gets created out of thin air and they give it back to you. They give you back the, <laughs> and then they charge you interest on the fake money. And then you think you're hot shit. Do you understand? So all these guys talking to me, flexing a million dollars, flexing $2 million bank account, $3 million bank account. Bro, you can't afford shit. <laughs> now, maybe if you move to Southeast Asia or you get something in uh, Eastern Europe, sure, you may be balling. But ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest. Oh, and somebody said, and then add property tax on that. Come on, man. So what do we do? We need to prepare. The same way every civilization that's on the downturn, on the downturn of the S curve, go read Ray Dalio's book on changing world orders. It's a very dense book, but it's a book that, that'll un help you understand at a macro level, maybe some scenarios as to how history repeats itself. So we're on the S-curve, America's going down, the dollar is becoming jeopardized. Why? Because the dollar has become a weapon. Nukes, guys, guys, this the whole nuke thing is it's just propaganda. It's all propaganda. What do you think, these fuckers are gonna nuke each other? They're all in bed together, bro. You, you think these guys are fighting? You, what, to take over America? What, they're gonna just come and invade with tanks and, and nuclear bombs? No. Right now, the weapon is a financial weapon. So what you're gonna start seeing is a fractionalization of monetary power. The United States, because of the petrodollar, had that strength for about 70 to 80 years. But the more you weaponize a currency, the less people want to use it. So we have BRICS coming. We have Brazil, Russia, 
We have China, we have India, and we have South Africa and all the countries that want to join them saying, fuck the dollar, we're gonna do our own thing. Have you been to China, bro? These motherfuckers are advanced, bro. And what, what, what do you think, you're gonna make a living? Everybody in the world's gonna make a living? Trading, trading future stocks on, on Robinhood? Get woke, bro. Get woke. Isn't that how the world works? So what do we do to protect ourselves? Which is the whole point of this data set. Now that I've laid the framework, let me paint on the canvas for you. If you want to get to the next level, you cannot do the same things that you're doing at this level. If you're taking notes, write this down or memorize it. Let it, not even memorize it, internalize it so they can fundamentally change your life. If you want to get to the next level, you cannot do the things of the current level that you're at. You can't. I, bro, do you understand how many messages people telling me every fucking day, I'll see you at the top. I'll see you when I got 10 million. I'll see you when I got, bro, everybody's wishing. What are you doing differently? Honestly, what are you doing differently than you were last year? Nothing. How, how many people, how many people have you contacted on social media? How many hours of intentionality have you put forth towards building your digital resume so that people can actually give a fuck about you? How many hours a day are you developing new skills? How many new data sets are you acquiring every single day? What environment are you placing yourself around? so that you can position yourself to win. You know the difference between you and the guy that's in an Ivy League school that's hella plugged and hella connected? You know what the difference is? Positioning. You think these guys that are running banks are any smarter than the guys that run smaller banks? No, it's all positioning, it's all hierarchy, it's all aristocracy. Do you understand? Well, no, the more skilled you are, the I know a lot of skilled people that ain't doing shit. I know a lot of smart people up here that can't manifest it in and transmute that into reality. Do you understand? If you want to get to the next level, you cannot be doing the things of the current level. You have to reinvent yourself. So the question is, ladies and gentlemen, what areas in your life need to be reinvented, need to be revolutionized. Even though evolution is a scam, and we understand that it's a complete fraud of a worldview, that we just came from an explosion, right? Idiots. The idea of the survival of, of the fittest or the strongest or the most adaptable is a principle that can still be applied at a personal level. Because at the end of the day, you are competing in the food chain of life. You are competing, you are at war. You are at battle for attention, energy, money, relationships, connections. Why does somebody have a connection, right, in your town with the mayor and it's not you? Why? Because you do not give a fuck about your progress. Well, I do, Luke. I, I do care. No, you don't. Because if you cared, you would care. And if you cared, you would change. That which you want to do, you do. Well, I don't have time. Fuck off. Well, I don't have money. Fuck off. I don't have connections, fuck off. Go make the money, go make the connections, and go get the knowledge. Somebody said, what do you offer the mayor? LOL, go study the mayor. Go know what food the mayor likes. Go see what football team he's a part of and go buy him some fucking tickets and go and be like, hey, thank you for your service. Anything you need, 
this is my card, this is what I do. I've done it. Oh, well that sounds stupid or impossible because you don't understand. So ladies and gentlemen, spend 20 minutes today and evaluate where you are and where you want to be. And then work with the intensity that will allow you to sleep at night nice with peace, knowing that you gave it your all. You cannot trust money because it's printed out of thin air. You cannot trust the institutional organizations because they're all blackmailed because they're a bunch of fucking perverts. Data set. So you must become incorruptible. You must become educated. You must become a, a stoic of sorts. You must become a free thinker and a person that provides value, not only to the kings. Guys, this applies down to the micro level. I'll give you an example. When I go to Miami, right? I'll go to some of these nice end restaurants and things of this nature. If I, if I have to fucking wait to get a table and I got all the cheddar, right? And I, and I have to wait for a table, then I'm not plugged. I should be able to walk into any restaurant, know the owner, be like, it's busy, packed as fuck, let me still get a table. Table acquired. You don't think that's how the world works? <laughs> that's how the world works. So be intentional about your skill set. That's the first thing. Because when you're intentional about your skill set, now you can approach people with skills that provide value. Be intentional about the people you want to connect with. Do not give your time and energy to any, anybody, none, zero, zero people, zero people. My notifications, my DMs, are, all that shit's turned off. Why? It's stealing my energy and attention. For what? To focus on me to focus on me. So I'll walk into the restaurant, I'll look at the security guy who, who's making what, 30, 40, 50K a year? Tip him, what's your name? Oh, my name's John, nice to meet you, my name is Luke. This is what I do, anything you need, brother, let me know. Next time I walk in, hey, John, good to see you, brother, how are you? But most of you motherfuckers, you're so entitled, you're so self-centered, so focused on yourself that you don't look at everybody else and ask, how can I serve them? How can I provide value to them? How can I be of service? The most valuable person is the one that understands that they can provide value in any time, in any situation to any person. So you need to create skills and develop skills that I like to call multi-chain cross-pollinating skills. These cross-pollinating skills are going to allow you to elevate. You see, people are still so botted. People are, people are tips on drop shipping. Can you imagine? Can you imagine asking me for tips on drop shipping? What the fuck do you think I am? Luke Belmar of 2017? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Somebody said, any tips for high schoolers? Get the fuck out of high school, bro. High school is a propaganda machine that was pushed upon people to keep them in the slave mind, to keep them working in the system, to keep them indoctrinated. Figure out a way to get your GED or convince your parents through the ability to understand psychology, persuasion, and sales. If you can't convince your parents to drop out of high school, how the fuck are you gonna be rich? <laughs> you can't even get out of the 101. You understand? My gosh, bro. Somebody's like, give us some tips. Guys, you don't escape on tips. Do you understand that I can't free you? Give me some tips. What do you think that you're not even going to do anything with the tip? Who are you? If you were a bad, bad fucking boss, you wouldn't be asking me for tips. Somebody said, you need high school to get into the army. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me break it to you. There is no difference between being an OnlyFans model and a soldier. <gasps> no, the Patriots. You're still selling your body. You're just selling it to somebody else. Have you not seen the military contracts? You sold. You're a piece of property. That's why they call them boots on the ground and not humans. That's why they call them casualties and not people dead. Expendable resources for the military industrial complex. But all in due time. So ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to come and give you a fucking shock. May 1st, 2023. What's going to change? What's going to change? You motherfuckers want to get rich. You can't even control what you put in your mouth out here eating Twinkies, donuts, pizza. Like there's no tomorrow. You're an addict to your emotions. You're an addict to the vices of the world. You're an addict to dopamine. You're an addict to bitches. Call it what it is. Whoa. Excuses. Excuses. Do you understand? This isn't this isn't meant to to do anything but to reignite in your mind your ability to be a free thinker. I'm not here to teach you what to think. I'm here to teach you how to think. Because if you learn how to think, you will become free. If you're asking me for tips, what tip am I gonna give you, bro? What the fuck are you talking about? Why haven't you sat down and thought about tips for yourself? You understand? May 1st, 2023. It's time to level up. Most people think Oh, if I miss this opportunity, there's another opportunity. Till the opportunities stop coming. And if you don't think that you can get to such a point where you fuck up your life and you, you can't change, well, you're sadly mistaken. Because let me tell you something. Opportunities like this do not roll around every single day. Oh, Luke, you got, you got lucky with crypto. Okay. I got lucky buying order blocks of $10,000 of ETH at $79 and $80. Lucky me. Lucky me. Why weren't you lucky? <laughs> Why weren't you lucky? Why were you unlucky? Ask yourself, answer that. You can't, your brain gets fucking fried trying to answer it. Cause you don't have an answer except full of excuses and full of shit. You need to decide. Once and for, decide. Decide once and for all. Who will you be? Decide, not I'm going to try. No, there is no trying. You will do it or you will not do it. There is no trying. You will die on the attempt of accomplishing it or you will fail. That's it. No trying. You will do it or you will not do it. Decide today who you will become. Because who you become is fully up to you.
Do you understand? Do you hear me? Love and bless